Dr. Duncan McDougall was a curious man. He was a doctor in the early 1900s. He worked at a hospital in Haverhill, Massachusetts. McDougall had a question. He wondered if the soul had weight. Could you measure it? He thought you could. McDougall believed the soul was real. He thought it left the body after death. He wanted to prove it scientifically. This was a bold idea. It sparked curiosity and skepticism. McDougall designed an experiment. He wanted to weigh the human soul. He believed the soul had mass. He thought it would leave the body after death. This experiment made him famous. It also made him controversial. Dr. McDougall's hypothesis was simple but profound. He believed that the human soul had weight. He proposed that this weight would be measurable at the moment of death. His idea was that the soul, upon leaving the body, would take a small amount of weight with it. He settled on the figure of 21 grams. This number wasn't arbitrary. He arrived at it through careful consideration and estimation. He believed this was the approximate weight difference a body would experience upon losing its soul. The idea of a 21-gram soul captured the public's imagination. It was a tangible measurement for something intangible. The idea was both exciting and unsettling. It made people question what happens after death. McDougall designed an experiment. He used a special bed. It was placed on a sensitive scale. He observed six patients dying. These patients had different illnesses. They were all near death. McDougall carefully monitored them. When a patient died, he noted the time. He recorded any changes in weight. He also looked for other explanations. These included loss of bodily fluids. He wanted to be precise in his measurements. He aimed to eliminate other factors. McDougall's experiment was meticulous but flawed. There were variables he couldn't control. The technology of the time was limited. The sample size was small. Despite these limitations, his findings were intriguing. Section 4, The Verdict, 21 Grams, and a Legacy of Debate. McDougall's results were met with a mix of excitement and skepticism. One patient lost weight at the moment of death. The weight loss was exactly 21 grams. This seemed to support his hypothesis. However, the other patients showed inconsistent results. The scientific community was divided. Some praised McDougall's attempt to quantify the soul. Others criticized his methods. They pointed out the limitations of his study. The debate over the 21-gram soul continues today. The experiment had a lasting impact. It sparked conversations about life and death. It raised questions about the nature of the soul. It also highlighted the challenges of studying the paranormal scientifically. Section 5. The Enduring Allure of the 21 Grams Experiment. Dr. McDougall's experiment, though controversial, continues to fascinate. Why? Perhaps it's the human desire to understand death. The idea of a measurable soul is comforting to some. It provides a sense of hope for an afterlife. The 21-gram theory has been featured in books, movies, and songs. It has inspired countless discussions about the soul's existence. Although not scientifically proven, the idea persists. It resonates with our deepest fears and hopes. Even today, people are drawn to the mystery of the 21 grams. It represents our ongoing quest to understand what happens when we die. The experiment remains a powerful reminder of the enduring human fascination with the afterlife. Section 6, The Soul's Weight, A Question for the Ages. The question of whether the soul has weight may never have a definitive answer. Science and spirituality offer different perspectives. Dr. McDougall's experiment, while flawed, encouraged us to think about the soul. It sparked a debate that continues to this day. Whether you believe in a 21-gram soul or not, the experiment is a testament to human curiosity. It reminds us that some questions may never have concrete answers. But the search for those answers can lead us to a greater understanding of ourselves and the universe around us.